very good morning so it is seven o'clock and Newcastle got beat yesterday I went across to see family and uh, my brother's missus turned round and said to us had I seen the score? Well, no I hadn't because I was riding across on the bike so it's the start of the season for Newcastle United we've had four games and as I've said in quite a few videos it's about formations it's about being able to change and adapt I'm not concerned because like I say it's the start of the season and as last season you know we didn't start all that good neither did the likes of eventual winners Man City but here's the thing Because it's the start of the season, our players have time to gel. They have time to put things into operation. They have time on the training pitch to get it right. And that's what Newcastle United needs now last season like I say we had that break which nobody wanted that break was the World Cup but it happened and we went on a really good run now Here's the thing, I believe in Newcastle United as my football club and nothing is going to stop that belief, nothing at all, because I watched the interview with His Excellency Yasir al Rubian, and he wants us to become number one that's hard to do it's an extremely hard task but it's not impossible so like I say we won the first game and we've been beaten in three games since now we've got other games Champions League games coming up and as I say Newcastle United have to play at their very best to progress I believe that is the case I believe that we will get out of group F because we have outstanding talent now because obviously we are at the beginning and four games in anything is possible so my belief is until it's inevitable we're not there yet 
<laughs> when we're nowhere near that yet. But as I say, His Excellency wants Newcastle to be the best. So I will keep on believing. It's up to you, right there, you, to put this message out. That we believe in Newcastle United. It's up to you, right there. And what that means is sharing, liking, that, subscribing, it's free, both are free actually, and sharing. And then maybe, just maybe, Eddie Howe, Jason Tindall, will see what's to come. So anyway, I think there's an international break coming up. I think. So we shall see. And as I didn't watch Match of the Day last night, I'm going to watch it this morning and then I'll do another video and that other video is to say what my thoughts were because apparently the TV that's in the sitting room is on BBC One and I want to talk about that in the next video because Ken Lodge before seven o'clock was interviewed and that's where I want to talk about so thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and as I say it's four games into a season I would much rather have the losses now than at the business end of the season and that's my opinion I felt so sorry as I was saying to the nephew yesterday evening for all of those travelling fans who had to travel overnight back home but these things happen. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video. And I'll see you in the next video.